Hey everybody, Jim Powers with MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision, and it's great to catch up with some of our outstanding student athletes, especially those that are getting it done on the field. And this week, GLVC Baseball Offensive Player of the Week for the first time since Mitch Carriger did it back in 2016, Brennan Williams. And Brennan, it's been a great year for you uh, personally and for the team, but this past weekend, I mean, just off the charts, we get, you know, last week, including the Umsel game, four and one and a big road, to, you know, road series win out at Rockhurst. Yeah, it was a big weekend for us. Um, a lot of other guys are playing really well, too. Um, just lucky to get the award for myself. Uh, it's a great a little achievement for me, for me. Talk a little bit about you personally. And I know earlier in the year, kind of playing a little bit of first base, but you've really settled in in that designated hitter spot in the top of the order batting behind Drake, who you're good friends with. You know, how comfortable are you right now sitting in that position it, it, with an opportunity to drive in runs at any given moment? Um, I'm very comfortable up there. Um, knowing Drake's going to be on, I mean, it seems like half the time at least. And then I know if I get it on, uh, Lewis and Dalton are crushing the ball right now. So we're going to probably uh, have a good chance of scoring some runs um, with uh, everyone just keeps hitting well. You know, you look at the top of this order. It's scary. And then you look at the bottom with some of the younger guys and with Cody down there as well. I mean, you look at what we've done, 57 home runs on the year. We're, I believe, in the top 25 nationally in scoring. This lineup is potent top to bottom. Yeah, our lineup's really good. Um, it's hard to find a weak spot. And it seems like if the top of the lineup has a bad day, the bottom of the lineup's there to pick us up. And uh, it's really uh, difficult to uh, catch us off guard. First year here at Maryville, look at the success you guys are doing. Did you kind of expect this when you came in in the fall to get ready for this spring? Yeah, you have to accept, uh, expect uh, success. And uh, just looking at the roster and looking at the guys in the fall, uh, I knew we'd have a, a good chance of winning some games there in the spring. You know, you're a senior. Um, you've been around the block a, a few times. What have you been able to share with the freshmen, the younger guys? Because I tell you, and I've seen you guys, I travel with you guys, how you guys just all mesh. You guys get along. There's nobody, you know, nitpicking about this, that, and the other thing. What have you kind of contributed to that as one of the older guys on the team to some of the younger guys to help them be successful? Um, just coming from a, another program, I transferred, um, have a, different experiences than, like, I guess the normal college baseball player. Um, kind of share some of those with the guys. And us having so many seniors and older guys on the team, um, it's definitely a lot easier because there's a lot of uh, leadership and just the overall uh, culture of the team is already established. And a couple more wins. We, get, we clinch a spot first time ever in the GLVC tournament. How does that make you feel in getting through this year and, you know, watching these guys grow and, and with a shot to possibly make history here at Maryville and win a conference championship, first time in Division II? Uh, it's uh, really exciting. Um, definitely, I wanted to come here. Wanted to, I know I don't only have one year to do it. Um, make some history with the team and uh, hopefully do some things that uh, Maryville in the past has never been able to do. Awesome stuff, buddy. Good luck this weekend, and jury. Congratulations on the award. All right, thank you. Brennan Williams joins us here. GLVC Player of the Week this week. Like we said, first time since volunteer assistant coach Mitch Carriger did it back in 2016. Well deserved. Guys are going to be down a jury this weekend. A big series. It's number one and number two in the Western Division. Locking horns this week. You'll be able to follow all the action on the website, MaryvilleSaints.com, and also via our Twitter feed at Maryville Saints. For Brennan, I'm Jim Powers. Thanks so much for tuning in to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.